Hello everyone, my name is Reto Barmettler. I head the Russian paintings team here in London and today I will be talking a little bit about uh, our forthcoming sale. This is the first time that our flagship Russian picture sale will be held online only and the sale will be open for bidding from the 26th of May until the 2nd of June. The sale includes several works by Ivan Ivazovsky, among them our top lot which is this wonderful, monumental, sunlit, southern landscape, the Bay of Naples, dating from 1878. Another work, which is a particular favourite of mine, Passing Ship on a Moonlit Night, dates from 1868 and shows, in my view, Iwasowski at his best. One can see how this moon reflects on the stormy sea. The transparency of the water is depicted by him like by no one else. Among other highlights from the 19th century is a exceedingly rare view of Moscow by one of Russia's greatest landscape painters and native Moscovite, Alexei Savrasov. It is so much fun comparing his view of the city with the contemporary picture. Um, one can see all the landmarks such as the Kremlin, St. Basil's on Red Square, Niskushni Sad, which is now part of Gorky Park on the opposite side of the River Moskva. But what one cannot help to notice how much the city has actually changed and how much it has grown. The point from where Savrasov painted this picture was at the time a rural hamlet. Today it is very much part of the city, not far from the main building of the Moscow Strait University, one of Stalin's seven sisters. Of course, we don't just have landscapes and seascapes in our sale. We also have a wonderful selection of portraits. And a personal favorite of mine is Konstantin Makovsky's portrait of his third wife, Maria, where she's dressed luxuriously in fur and feathers. Apparently, the artist fell in love immediately with this young, beautiful woman, 30 years his junior. She would go on to become one of his favorite muse, inspire some of his best portraits and bear him three children. Of course, the sale also includes a wide array of 20th century Russian art. Vasily Shukhaev's caricature, The Reigning Monarchs of the World, which he did for Vanity Fair and which was published in a magazine in 1934. Uh, it shows all the monarchs that survived the first decades of the 20th century in, in quite a mocking way. It's rather interesting to see it from an American perspective, but done by a Russian artist who had left the country. The sale also includes a wide selection of art from the post-war Soviet era, works by Vladimir Stajarov, who travelled extensively in the Russian north, depicting the way of life which by now has pretty much disappeared, and all the wooden vernacular ar architecture which is also slowly disappearing, uh, with no one living there anymore. So these are incredibly interesting documents from a period where this way of life is just about still there. One of my favorite Soviet era artworks is a canvas from 1982 by Natalia Nesterova called Matsesta. Uh, Matsesta was also the most prestigious place where a Soviet citizen could have gone on holiday. Incidentally, Matsesta is where Stalin had his dacha and it was one of the most um, famous uh, health resorts at the time. The artist is reinterpreting a classical subject of socialist realism that of holiday of the Soviet worker, um, but in a much more grotesque way. And her work constantly straddles this border between reality and fantasy. So this is just a really small selection from the sale. Do go and have a look at the catalogue on our website. Any questions, do get in touch with me or my colleagues. Thanks for watching.